Hi, my name is Martin Bickerton, and this is one of Trinity's Grade 7 repertoire pieces, William Walton's Bagatelle No. 2. This is a really interesting grade 7 piece and musically is really tricky. There are a few technical areas that are tricky but for the most part it's straightforward. Uh, the technical areas tend to be the arpeggio at bar 64 to the climax there and also some of the bass dampening you have to be quite careful of. The musical things that are particularly difficult about this piece other than its kind of relaxed nature you have to keep all the way through it's actually this simple bass line, it simply goes between A and D throughout the whole of the piece, the tom dominant and tonic. Now, how you deal with this affects the whole of the interpretation, and it actually affects the melody on top of the bass line. I opted for a really stable, quite almost metronomic bass line, and that in itself causes problems for uh, the melody playing. Because you cannot really throw the bass line around too much, it's really obvious if you do, you have to get creative in your use of dynamics, articulation, and sort of micro rubato within the bar, sense of timing, uh, to give the melody a sense of push and pull without any actual overt rubato. One of the ways I would recommend practicing this uh, freedom in the melody line whilst having metronomic bass is recording the bass line either if you have a loop pedal or, in fact, if you have a tablet or a, a device that has a recording facility. Uh, just simply record the bass line A's and D's 
and fit the melody on top of that and see how much you can push and pull the melody without affecting the bass.